well, next tonight. You've probably never thought about how they're made, but the part of everyday life. We're constantly losing scissors in our house. Still going strong in Sheffield is Whitley's. Founded in 1760, it supplies scissors across the world. It's a family-run firm now in its 11th generation and every pair of these is handmade. Ian White has been finding out how. Sparks fly as a tradition that's gone on for hundreds of years continues at Whitley's Scissor Factory in Sheffield. Sally Ward is the 11th generation running this family firm. It's been in the family so long and actually a lot of it's really fascinating and the people you meet who want the special scissors to do this, that and the other special things, that's all really interesting. What woman can do without her scissors? These are scissor blanks being forged. Each scissor is still handmade, assembled and tested by craftsmen. Their skills have been honed and handed down over centuries. And these are open at point, so these want pulling, as you can see, to bring these like that, which is what we do on here. Andrew you met, he's been with us since he was like 15, so he's the oldest and been here the longest. Brings them point to point. And a pair of scissors into the light, they should touch one place all the way down. That one just wants tapping at point. Here, there are industrial scissors of all kinds being made. Nail scissors, embroidery scissors, which are small, tiny like this. And we make some that are like up to 14 inches for tailored shears, big tailored shears. Around the factory are stunning examples of specially made scissors, like these for Queen Victoria. There's the uh, showcase of the scissors that were sent to the Great Exhibition in 1851 in London at the Crystal Palace. And also we have framed over there our official trademark from 1760, which is just a little piece of lead with our 332 trademark. So could modern technology replace the old traditional methods? I don't think you could make scissors with computers because we do so many different patterns, edges, shapes. So if you ever see a Whiteley scissor, you're holding a little bit of history. Ian White, BBC Look North, Sheffield. A great story.